Hello. The next video should be uh, how to read variables. I saw some flows uh, with the uh, reading variables. Okay, this is maybe the first step when you see all these uh, nodes and okay, it's uh, a lot of yeah uh, stuff and uh, yeah, you have to decide which node is the right for your um, flow and for for your use case. Okay, and. Uh, a read could be very great when you want to do this in, in a specific time or um, interval, whatever. But reading is polling, yeah? so you have to ask the server every time and maybe the values every time the same and uh, nothing changed. For that, you could use also the listener node. Listening is uh, monitoring the value and just if it changes, then uh, you get the new value. And you have some um, you know, functionalities and nodes to filter for the right node, maybe of a set from uh, node IDs of OPCUA, or also you have uh, these uh, response, and you get a really, really tiny message object with the value, data type, and its node ID. Okay, we have here uh, in the demo server from node red, um, this is this one. When you set up here um, address space object demo, then you get this information model here inside the demo server. And you see here there are some variables inside to uh, play around with this. Okay, and you see it's changing every time. And uh, for, the for now, we will see um, how to read this one and uh, go to the test. And we see here it's reading test write variable, and we switch on. Then we say, okay, please read it, boom, boom, boom. And see now the whole message from the response, but uh, maybe just the payload is interesting for you. And you see this one. So this is the whole object from Node OPC UA. But when you say, I want to simplify all the results, then you could say, okay, deploy. clean up a bit and uh, if you are connected back then you could read this and you will see that the payload is uh, really tiny you get the value data type and node ID and when you just set up here the message payload then let's see again clean up should connect again and then when we read we just have this object with its value, data type, and uh, node ID. Yeah? Okay, so this is reading. But another way is uh, to use the listener. You see here, there are 14 variables. And uh, if you count this one, maybe you should come to <laughs> um, number of 14. And uh, when we switch on the listener here, which is just the start abo, we have some informations, how to um, set the interval and uh, well, how to sample the variables from inside the server and all this stuff. You get some more information about this, um, or some more information here from the listener. When you go to the information tab here, then you also will find this one um, to copy and to start playing around with this. Okay, and uh, yeah, when we switch on the results here, then you see these are all our variables uh, which are changing now uh, from these variables in the server. Uh, see here, the changing, 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 and so on. And also here we see changing, changing, and so on. So if you want to read your variables or to uh, save it in a database, then uh, sometimes it's much easier to use the listener and um, a browser before. So just set up the browser, say, this is my folder I want to get all variables from, uh, you could also read recursive for inside the folder um, to get get maybe uh, subfolders, variables, and um, yeah, then send it to the listener. Uh, uh, for that, you have to switch on the results to listener in the browser. It sends the variables to the listener and uh, starts monitoring um, for the variables. You have also to play around with your queue size, how many variables data I have to come from um, monitoring and all this stuff okay and that is that is a sometimes 
much easier way to um, work with uh, many variables in uh, yeah, reading from an OPC or a server with Node-RED. Okay, so I think you get an idea when you uh, want to use all these uh, examples here, then go to examples, IoT, OPC, UA, client, and then you find uh, browse to listener, and also just reading, reading history, all, the, also all these <laughs> kinds of uh, reading from the OPC UA server with Node-RED. So have fun and happy wiring.